Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about a bunch of new makeup releases at Sephora for the holidays. We have limited edition makeup that's kind of centered around the holidays. We also have a bunch of holiday sets that some are a really good value, some aren't, and I'm going to be very honest with you about the ones that I would recommend and the ones that I would not, as well as my opinions on those makeup products that I mentioned before that are kind of like holiday themed. So that's what this video is. I have done another one of these, which kind of inspired me to do another. I did a holiday makeup makeup releases at Sephora a couple weeks back and you guys seemed to really enjoy that video so I wanted to do another. I was planning on doing another but now I really want to make it like a consistent series leading up to you know Christmas and I want to kind of incorporate some drugstore products as well so any you know makeup retailers that you want me to do this for let me know in the comment section down below and also let me know about any opinions you have on these products that I mentioned as we go through the video. If you leave a hundred comments I've been kind of saying this recently but it really does not matter how many comments you leave. I love Love hearing from you guys so please be sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below let's go ahead and get in today's video because I have a feeling it's gonna be a long one I have lots to say and I apologize in advance if the lighting throughout this video is kind of wonky I do have the windows open and that typically makes my you know video video quality a little bit brighter and you know happier but it has been really rainy these past few days so we're just kind of working with the lighting that we got I hope it doesn't irritate you guys too much but for me the perfectionist in me is like screaming but the first product I want to talk about is actually a a gift set from Charlotte Tilbury. I have a couple products in here from Charlotte Tilbury, but this one is the Gift of Pillow Talk Lip Set. It retails for $35, and in it, you get a full size of the Matte Revolution Lipstick and Pillow Talk. This is a very popular shade. I would say there's kind of mixed opinions on it. Some people believe it is like the perfect pinky nude out there, and some people think that it's a little too brown, and I have a feeling, I actually have never swatched it or had it before, so I don't really know, but I have a feeling with my complexion, it would be a little bit too brown, but I may just have to see and try it out this might be a good set to try it with because that full-size lipstick not just a pillow talk but of any shade of the matte revolution lipstick is $34 so you're essentially getting this lipstick plus for one dollar you're getting a mini lip cheat lip liner so I feel like that's a pretty good deal in my opinion now if you were never wanting to get the pillow talk lipstick then I don't really know you know that probably isn't a good deal and that kind of goes with anything that I'm mentioning throughout this video if you didn't really have your eyes set on one or multiple of the products then it may not be a good deal you kind of have to evaluate that yourself when it comes to holiday gift sets. Next up, we have a set that I've heard a lot of people talk about recently. It's from Fenty Beauty. It is the Glossy Posse Mini Lip Gloss Balm Set. So this set comes with five of their miniature gloss bombs, and it retails for $42. And in it, you're getting four brand new shades. I'm not sure if they're going to make these shades like permanent to the gloss balm line, but these are new shades. And then one of the shades in there, one out of the five, is Fussy, which is one that's, I believe, their best seller. It's the one I've had my eye on for quite a while. I got the original one. I don't know the name of it, but I got the original one I really do like that one but if they were to have come out at the same time I would have purchased fussy instead it's just this really pretty pink and the thing with it is I'm really only interested in fussy and there's one other shade in there that I would use pretty often that would make it you know a little bit more worth it which is confetti but the truth is I could get two of the full size for around the same price as this set and I just for me it doesn't seem very worth it however if you like these shades and you like the formula and even if you haven't tried it yet it's very buttery it feels amazing on the lips so you probably will like it it's not sticky and it doesn't have really any qualities that I just like in a lip gloss so I do definitely recommend the formula and if you haven't tried it this might be a good way to try it if these are shades that really interest you next up is the NARS free lover palette this is a blush palette which retails for $59. It's a Studio 54 inspired palette and even though it retails for $54, the actual value behind it is $147. So if you look at it that way, you know, economically and just looking at the numbers wise, it does look like a pretty good deal. But with me and these type of like NARS blush palettes and face powder palettes, I really do have to analyze them a little bit differently. NARS comes out with a bunch of different blush and face product palettes like all the time. They came out with the Exposed palette and the Spray they come out with one pretty much every single holiday season sometimes even multiple and you know how many of these palettes do we really need and furthermore to kind of like I don't know narrow the pool of people who might want this product these shades are bright now the highlighter looks pretty natural it does have a bit of like a golden undertone and I do really like the formula of NARS and their highlights and the rest of their face powders like I love their blush formula 
but these shades just don't look very wearable for me unless I went in with an incredibly light hand and that would still eliminate some of the other shades. I mean, there is like a really bright coral in there that I just know I'm not going to wear. So I kind of have to think about it a little bit more like that. And unless you're wanting some really bold colors to just like give incredible like blush pops to the face, you probably won't enjoy this palette or get, you know, much product out of it. Like it just won't be worth it for you to buy it. This next set I think is a really good deal. It's one I definitely have my eyes on. It is the Patrick Tot Major Glow on the Go set. It retails for $35. I believe it values around like $50, which numbers wise that may not seem like a very big deal or you know a good value. However, for me, because it's only coming with two products and it's coming with you know a substantial amount of product in it, it's giving me products that I really want without adding a bunch of random products that are just gonna kind of like up the price of you know the set. And although it may be a hundred you know sixty eight dollar value and it's only gonna cost me forty eight dollars I don't really care because I don't want to spend that much money on products that I'm not gonna really get use out of like in this case the two products that come in here is the body oil and the shade dream and it comes with one third of the amount of product that would be in the full size and the full size is pricey but I heard a lot of people did enjoy it I have been wanting to try out some body oils but again I'm not gonna use it that often so I think one third of the amount of product would be a pretty good deal for me and then I've really had my eye on this, the Major Glow Lip Shine, and this is in the shade She's Expensive. I really had my eye on like all three of the shades that he came out with initially. I mean, I tried them out in store, and they feel amazing, they smell amazing, they look really beautiful and like high shine and intense, so I've definitely had my eye on that, and this comes with a full size of the shade and, and it and she's expensive. So I feel like this is a product or a set that is really gonna add value to my collection if I were to pick it up, and I'm very intrigued. And if you've been wanting out to try out Patrick Ta for a while, I think this would be a great way to do it if these are products that kind of have been, you know, getting your attention and then have been on your wish list. Next up, we have another product from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Palette of Pops Luxury Eyeshadow Palette, and this is in the shade Pillow Talk. So another kind of holiday-inspired product based on their, you know, best-selling lipstick, Pillow Talk. So we're kind of seeing a little bit of a theme here. They know people really like that. They're kind of, you know, transferring it to other, you know, products in their range. But this eyeshadow palette comes with four of their like really glittery, you know, kind of like glitter topper-esque shades. And this whole palette is going to retail for $53 for that quad. The thing is, I've heard so many people talk about how much they love the Charlotte Tilbury quads, but typically those quads come with like three mattes to really help balance out that glitter that's in the palette. And I believe that these glitters are the same formula as those in the other like quads that they've come out with thus far. And I've heard people rave not only about the mattes in those palettes, but also about these little glitter toppers. And I have always wanted to try them, but to me, it hasn't been worth it to purchase one of those quads with multiple other shades and this glitter topper solely for the glitter topper. But then when I think about having a palette that has four of these glitter toppers, I don't know, I just don't feel like I'll get very much use out of it because I probably won't use all four of the shades. Although I like them and I think they're wearable shades, I just can't see me getting my money's worth out of this product because $53 is expensive. And although the value may be okay, because when you compare it to those other little glitter toppers that you can get from Hourglass for like $29, like, I guess it's a little bit more of like a better deal, but even though I've heard so many people love it, I just don't think I'm ready to quite pull the trigger on a product like this. I mean, it's a totally up to you though. You just kind of have to think about like your budget and what's worth it for you. Because for me, if I were to get a quad that's this expensive, I want to make sure that I have complimentary shades, um, like matte shades and products to really balance out these glitters. So that's just my thoughts on it. I know it's a lot, but it's totally a personal thing. As well as the rest of these. Like, if you want to buy it, even though I say, like, I think it's a terrible deal, I don't like, you know, some product in there, like, if you think it's a great deal, you definitely should go for it. Next up is another set, but it's from Becca. It's the Party Popper Ultimate Lipstick Love Kit. This comes with three of their mini Ultimate Lipstick Love lipsticks, and this set retails for $25, but it's a $54 value. In it, you're getting three different shades. Rosewood, and then Orchid, and then one more, which is Sugar. And this is one I've had my eye on for quite a while because I do watch Madison Miller 89 here on YouTube. I think that her videos are really nice. There are a lot of like product heavy recommendations. So if you're into that, you'll love her channel. But one thing she's raved about for a while now is these 
Ultimate Lipstick Loves from Becca. She says they're an amazing formula, they're really comfortable, long wearing, everything you could want in a lipstick. And I have swatched them before and they seem really nice. I've had my eye on the shade Blush and also that shade Sugar, which is kind of like a pinky nude with a kind of a cooler undertone. And this just looks like a really great set. The shades look great for the fall and the holiday season. So I think this one is going to be a hit. I just wanted to bring it to your attention because it looks like something that would be worth the money. So this holiday season, Fenty did release some more of their like diamond-esque highlighters. The first one being the Fenty Liquid Glitter Diamond Bomb Highlighter, which retails for $28. And this highlighter, you know, that may seem like a really good deal. This is also in the shade Rollin' Dice, but this may seem like a really great deal because when you compare it in your head to the prices that you see um, on other liquid highlighters, it seems either comparable or a little bit more affordable in comparison to those higher end ones. However, this product I saw in store when I was, you know, looking around in Sephora a couple days ago and I looked at it and I was like, that is tiny. And that may be great if you're just dabbling in, you know, liquid highlighters, you want one that you can actually finish up and, you know, try out. And Fenty's known for their highlighters. So like that would be a good formula, I would think, to test out and kind of get you used to that. So it could be good. But if you're thinking you're getting a better value or anything, you are really not. But moving on to the next highlighter that they came out with, I also have like, mm, not the best things to say about it, but it is the Fenty Diamond Veil 2 All Over Diamond Balm, and this retails for $38, just like the one that they released last year in How Many Carrots, but this one is in the shade Hollow At Me, and this shade, you know, it didn't, in the pan, look very different in comparison to the one that they released last year, and that is still available, the Diamond Balm. I don't know though, because when I swatch them side by side, I mean, obviously I've always really been drawn to the one that they came out with last year. I think it was really pretty and I still am debating on whether or not to pick that up because it's it's just not like anything else I have in my collection. But this one, um, it has kind of a pink shift to it, uh, kind of a pink tint, and I just really did not like it. It was almost like rose gold. It may look, I feel like it looked beautiful on like really deep skin tones or even just deeper skin tones, but on my skin tone, it just looked really weird. So that's something to note that this is definitely going to be, you know, that similar glittery effect, but there is a difference in the shade. So that may be nice for you, knowing that like these are not gonna be the exact same highlighter just year after year. It is going to, you know, switch up a little bit. So we all know that Charlotte Tilbury products can get a little pricey, but this next product, it's really up there. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look and an Eye and Face Palette, and this retails for a whopping $75. And to me, you know, in some palettes, like Natasha Denona, honestly, on occasion, actually a lot of the time, I can see the justification for it. I understand they're a higher-end brand, but they're also coming out with eyeshadows and palettes that are really, like, different and unique and you know are not like anything we've seen before and this palette I've seen a billion times and I don't mind palettes that you know you see very you know that are reminiscent to a lot of other palettes but when you're charging $75 it better be something completely unique completely different I mean this is truly nothing special and in it you're only getting a few eyeshadows you're getting like a bronzer and a blush and they're really kind of small pans like you're not getting a ton of product at least that's what it looks like I didn't look at the you know, gram or the amount of product in there, but man, it does not look like you're getting a lot of product. And another thing with those small, you know, face product pans is when you're, you know, doing bronzer, unless I'm using like a contour brush to contour my face, when I'm bronzing, I want my big fluffy brush to go in there and get all over my face. And I just feel like, I mean, I can barely get like my biggest fluffy eyeshadow brush in there. So I just kind of have issue with that, that I just feel like using an ample brush for my face wouldn't be possible with the way that this palette is formatted. And because it's so pricey, you can't have a product that isn't functional. Like, it needs to be amazing, meaning all the marks. That includes, you know, packaging. That includes the size of the product. That includes everything. And you really have to account that as a brand when you're coming out with a product that is so expensive. It needs to wow the customer. And this one definitely does not wow me. Next up, we have a set from Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Seeing Double Eyeshadow Primer Potion duo and this retails for $48. No it doesn't. It retails for $29 but it has a value of $48 because each of the primer potions retail for $24 individually. So this is a very good deal especially when you look at numbers and even when you look at like the amount of product. Like it's a good deal no matter what. If you love the primer potion this is a great deal for you. However I don't. It's okay. I would definitely use it. Um, you know, I used mine up and I was like, okay, this is good. I'm moving on because I've tried ones from the drugstore that are significantly better. I like the Too Faced one better. They're like shadow insurance. I just don't think this one is worth it in general or worth the price. So I don't think, and I mean, it takes me forever 
forever to use up an eyeshadow primer. Like, I am still using up one I bought, like, two years ago. Like, and I use it every single time I do eyeshadow, which is pretty much every single day, if not, you know, at least three times a week at the very minimum. So I'm using eyeshadow primer a lot, and I'm still using up one I bought, you know, two years ago. It takes me a long time. So I really don't think it's necessary to go ahead and pick up two. One thing you could do with this is the packaging does kind of break apart in, like, a way where, you know, you get one box and one box. So if you wanted, you could keep one if you wanted to and you like, you know, this formula and you could give one to somebody else or what you could do is just give them each to two people and like do it that way. I like the style of it. I just think it's just not, it's not for me especially. Like specifically, it's definitely not for me, but I just don't think it's the best value or, you know, use of your money when there's so many great ones at the drugstore. And even if you want to go higher end, I just feel like it's not the best. All right, guys, that about wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up so I know to do more videos in the future like this. I really want to do Ulta, like their holiday releases next. So just let me know by giving it a thumbs up if that's something you'd be interested in. Any opinions or comments that you may have on the new products that I talked about in today's video, I would love to hear anything you guys have to say. So let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any, any like video recommendations for, you know, next, upcoming videos or holiday videos that you want to see me do, let me know. Um, you can either comment it down below, you can tweet it at me. I'll have my Twitter and all of their social media platforms linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of the support and it just means so much to me and this is something I enjoy so much. So being able to do it and know that I'm not just like talking to, you know, absolutely no one just really means so much. So thank you guys. Um, if you're new here and you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you do so. Just click that little red button down below and and if you want to be notified for my future content and uploads, then make sure to click that little notification bell right next to the subscribe button. But I think that's all I have to say. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great couple of days until I post my next video, and I will see you then. Bye!